Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Randy here and I hope you are doing well. Today I have an absolutely awesome video for you. It's our second video of Deep Conversations with me where we deep condition our hair and have deep conversations, talk about life, natural hair, or anything else that I want to talk about. Um, I was really excited to hear your responses from the very first one that we did where I was able to talk about um, being a natural hair influencer slash um, producing content and like catfishing and glamorizing natural hair journey. Um, I loved hearing what you guys had to say and the impact that it had on you guys. So now I'm going to talk about why I chose to become natural um, because the biggest thing about this is like I like to do research and I like to make sure that I know what I'm getting myself into before I do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, don't forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button so you're also notified whenever I post a new video and we are consistent for the remaining of this year. God willing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is what my hair is looking like right now. This was a lazy drying go and I call it a drying go because I didn't actually like go back into the shower or wash my hair and then style it. I had washed my hair I want to say two days before and it was like fully dry. I just spritzed certain parts of it, added my product and boom what you see is what you get. But I still have a lot of definition and this was done a week ago. Can y'all believe this? And I recently started getting a little bit of flakes but it's nothing like major it's only in the front like you don't really see it over here, right? But that's my hair up close and personal, y'all, in case you wanted to know. Yes, baby hairs are not sleek or nothing. This is what you get. <laughs> but yes, so I'm gonna go wash my hair and I'm gonna come back with the part that I'll be using. But before I get into it, let me show you what we're using today. So we will be using the Mayel Organics um, Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. So, this product is supposed to be an overnight uh, deep conditioner um, that you leave in your hair as you sleep and it does all the work for you. So it's really cool, really interesting to like see what I will get. It smells really, really good. You can smell the ginger. I think it has some honey in it. And, but it smells really good. So I'm really excited to use this product. And yeah, I'm going to go wet my hair. I'm going to shampoo it most likely. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you guys know what I do. And then I'll come back. With this. <laughs> I'm back. This is what we're working with right now. My hair is soaking wet. And no, I did not use any shampoo. Let me show you guys what my hair looks like. When I just run the water on it and rub, rub through. For the most part, my hair is fully clean. And keep in mind that I am gonna be rinsing out this deep conditioner in the morning. So, yeah, so this is a spot that I missed, but it's okay. And for the most part, you just wanna make sure you get through there. You could do it with just water, you can shampoo your hair, but make sure you get through those sections. The reason for shampoo is it's soap and it suds and it gets those places that you might end up missing. Honestly, shampoo just makes your life easier. Let me get my hair to calm down a little bit. So we can really go in and we can get the deep conditioner all over here. Now I need to make sure I have my clips and loose up and then we're going to get right into the conversation.
bang the fork and then you see them. All right, so I really wanted to get this one out of the way first before I started this conversation. I really got into doing this for a good quick second. So now that we got this section out of the way, and I understand what I'm doing, by the way, I really, really love this product. My hair loves this product. It's just melting into my strands, which is awesome. So, we're going to go move right along. I am going to be twisting each section as I do them because it's just going to be easier to like put it inside of my shower cap and whatnot. So, to get right into the topic, right, the topic I really, really want us to talk about is um, why I became natural. So, Again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and I've mentioned on my other videos as well, I like to be well informed before I make a decision on anything. So um, my biggest thing was watching a lot of natural videos. I had a lot of friends with natural hair um, that were trying to take care of it, but I still wasn't convinced because I had like straight hair, you know, it was like relaxed and I've just gotten so used to it, like I knew exactly what to do to relax hair. I could get the flat iron, flat iron it, but then to have to deal with the puff, like I've seen my hair in a blowout and I was not a fan. So like I thought, you know, if I didn't have curls, I would have like a crazy blowout that I wouldn't like. And that was like my biggest thing, like I didn't want to have hair that I didn't like. Yeah. So I started seeing more videos on natural hair being glamorized and stuff. And I was like, ooh, like natural hair can look like this. That is so nice. That's so beautiful, right? So people like Casey Aaliyah and um Janae Jan Magic. Is that her name? I don't even know. Um who else? A Sierra, like all these different people that were doing natural hair and making it look so beautiful and so nice. I was just like, wow, that's something that I want to do. And even my girl Treya. Of course, how can I forget about Treya? Like, um, my girl Treya as well, like, she does natural hair and she talks about the stories, the horror stories and stuff. So I was like, that's something that I want to do. Like, I at least want to know what my natural curl pattern is. But I knew I was not ready for the big chop. Like, I was not gonna chop off all my hair and not have hair. Not in high school at all. Like, it just wasn't happening. And then I didn't know much about, like, extensions and all these hairstyles and stuff. But I did start, um, I decided my freshman year in college that I was gonna stop getting relaxers. So December of 2015 was my last relaxer. Right, decided nope, not gonna do it anymore. This is my last one, and that's it. Like, I remember, I think my mom was the one that did it, or my cousin, because I was getting like a certain hairstyle. And I was like, yep, I'm not doing it after this. This is my last relaxer, and that's it. Like, I made up my mind. Um, so I went through the rest of the months, I was getting like braids, I was trying different 
uh, protective hairstyles and stuff, so I didn't really have to do it with my hair. I was always trying to deal with my hair. I was definitely putting heat, I was definitely blowing it out and all these things, but I was allowing my natural hair to get puffy and I was allowing my roots to, you know, do its natural thing. I want to say like the spring of 2016 when I started seeing like my hair puffing up, I was like, ooh, this is interesting. Like, I've never seen anything like this before. It's quite interesting. Like, I didn't expect my hair to look like this. Just wow, you know? But I kept like covering it with extensions and um, a lot of, I did a lot of weaves at that time because I learned how to do quick weave and like where you would glue it into your scalp and whatnot. Yeah, all that stuff I tried. So I was just like, okay, this is cool. This is something I can do to my natural hair and I have to like, worry about it, that's something I'm going to continue doing. So I did that, majority of these 2016, I was like, oh lord, some day um, lines, like line demarcation, I heard about girls losing hair, their hair falling out, and that was very real, and I wasn't sure if my hair was like falling out, or if it was just a natural process of like me losing hair, like you normally do, like you can see right now, hair just like sheds, it's just shed hair. So. I was sure if it was breakage or if it was just shed hair. So during that process, I was just trying to figure it out and stuff. And I was like, all right, let me start doing research on <laughs> the big chop. Like how to do the big chop, what to expect, all that stuff. So I would watch big chop video after big chop video after big chop video, right? And I remember um, in September of 2016, that was actually the year my friends were getting married, I decided that I was gonna do box braids because a little bit for the wedding is the easiest hairstyle and then I can rock it for like a month or so. And um, I knew I wanted to like, want to take it out. This was like the end of September, let's say. End of September, right? And I knew once I took it out, I was gonna attempt the big chop. Or like I thought about it at least. I was like, it's possible. Oh my gosh, this looks like shaving cream. Yeah, it looks like shaving cream. It's really good. Anyways, so like that was something I was considering, right? I knew that, you know, maybe after this big chop, after I take out these box braids, I can individually go in and just do my big chop. I didn't really have like a clear plan what I was gonna do, but I knew that was like a possibility, something I could do. So I was like, all right, that's an option, that's something I can look into and decide when the time comes. So early November, I remember it was election day, and I was like, all right, it's time for me to finally take this out, because it's been like a month and maybe a few days or something like that, right? Or a month and a week, maybe. Something along those lines. I was like, all right, let me take this out. But you know how box braids are. Like, I had already done the bob with it. Like, I cut it short with the bob. And I was like, all right, time for me to go in and individually like, undo. But then I had this interesting idea. Like, okay, why don't I just start from the back, undo it, and then just, you know, snip off the straight ends. Like, spritz it with water and snip off the straight ends. I was like, mm, spritzing it with water is not gonna be enough. Let me spritz it with water, put conditioner on it, and then clip off the ends. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try one strand. Let's see how the curls look, and then I'll decide. So, <laughs> your girl went in. Um, I think it was back here, actually. So I undid the braid, and then spritz it with water, put in the conditioner, and I was like, okay, let's 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 do this. At that point, I did have hair shears because I used the hair shears to cut my box braids into a box. So I remember like using it for that, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna need these hair shears one of these days. You never know. So close my eyes. Once I found the location, like of where it is, it was great. And I cut it, right? <laughs> it was like, my hair was like this short. I think I have pictures and I'm gonna 
Let me know if you guys want to see a separate video on like my hair journey with like pictures. But, so I snipped the hair. I was like, ooh, I have a little bit of curl. It doesn't look that bad. All right, let me try another section. And it went. It's like, all right, let me separate my hair into one big section um, or one a quarter. And then I'm just going to go in and snip, snip, snip. So, bold move me. Decided to like separate, like, like put it up. And then the rest of my hair was down. I was like, all right, let's go in. One by one, went in, snip, 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 snip. And I just kept looking for whatever parts of my hair did not curl up and I was just snipping, right? I was so bold. And then, when I was done with that section, I looked at my hair and I was like, my hair is short, I don't like it. <laughs> Yo, I was so sad because of how short my hair was. Like the curls were cute. I was like, oh, I was liking it. I was feeling it, but my hair was short. I was like, oh no, like I can't imagine doing the rest of the hair. I didn't realize that my hair obviously was shrinking up. So obviously it looked much, much shorter than it really was. But I was freaking out because I was like, oh no, I just cut all this hair and I can't just leave this one section. I have to keep going. There's a lot of braids. I had at least 100 braids in my head. Oh no, I have to keep going. So, got another section in the back. I did it. I was like, at this point, this is a workout. It took me maybe like three or four hours to do it because I had to undo the braids then spritz the water, put the conditioner, then snip. Again, undo the braid, spritz the hair with the water, put in conditioner, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> it was like a continuous process the whole time. And I was just like getting tired and annoyed. I'm like, why do I have so much hair? It's like, ugh, oh, it was so frustrating. And that's how y'all, I finished cutting my hair. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, nah, this can't be it. These curls are cute though. Like I was really feeling the curls. But I was like, my hair is so short. Looked myself in the mirror. I was like, yo, this is wild. Like my hair is, <laughs> my hair is really this short. I was just devastated when I saw my hair. And to make matters worse, when my mom came home and she saw me, her first reaction was like, you cut out all your nice, nice hair? It's a kind of thing, but like, you like basically you had beautiful hair and cut all of it. Yeah, mom, I did. And it was like, it's like a, like, you know, a woman's hair is her glory, right? So like, I don't know if it's like the black community or it's just a West Indian thing. It could be both, to be honest, but cutting your hair is so frowned upon. Uh, it's like as if to say you don't love your hair or like your hair is a glory so you can't have short hair like you can't rock short hair like that's not your thing but listen the next day I had plans with one of my friends I styled my hair and I curled it up and all that stuff and I wore a cute outfit had my nails done already, did my eyelashes and whatnot, and I stepped out. When I say stepped out, I, stepped. I was just going somewhere casual, but um, like I was really confident. I was like, this is my hair now. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to deal with it. And I'm like walking the streets and stuff, and people call me, hey Slim, hey Halle Berry. I was like, wait, let's slow down. <laughs> I'm not on her level, don't do that. But. I was like, ooh, Halle Berry, okay. She did have this cute little cut or whatever. All right, okay, that's something I can do. It doesn't look that bad, I just gotta own it, I gotta rock it. And then I remember like, there's a lot of like black women that have short hair and they rock it. I mean, even if their hair was short and it was straight, it's still short hair nevertheless. So like, they can rock it, I should be able to rock it too. It's like, all right, I'm gonna push through, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> this is this is the life, this is what's happening. So I was like, all right, this is this has to be my commitment. Like I have to be committed to this. So there were 
other children at my church, there were like family members that like, you know, they just complimented me like, yo, I didn't know you had curls in your hair. I didn't know you had curls in here. Trust me, I didn't know that either. <laughs> so be honest, I really didn't know. Like I had no idea I had curls. Like I had no idea what my curls looked like or anything like that. And I was like really glad that I was able to like discover it. It was like a whole new journey. It was like, wow, like what else about myself do I not know? Because um, at the age of 10, I asked my mom for a relaxer. Cause I used to get a press every, um, every three weeks or every month, I would have a pressing comb on my hair. And my hair was like growing. It was definitely like growing with the pressing comb. But then I feel like the hairdresser that I went to, even after she switched from the switch from the pressing comb to the relaxer, like she would always trim the same amount of hair every single time. And so my hair would grow, but then she would cut it off. And it would grow, but then she would cut it off. And it's like you don't need to trim your hair every time you do it. Like that doesn't make any sense. Your hair is not unhealthy. And I didn't initially I didn't know that. I just went with it. I thought that was the thing you did. Even when I was getting the relaxer, I was like, why is my hair growing? It's literally staying. This was the longest that my natural hair was at with the relaxer, like right here by my collarbone. And if it would ever pass there by that time, like it would be trimmed and back at the collarbone. Trimmed, back at the collarbone, like every single time. So I was getting really frustrated that my natural hair wasn't growing. Well, not my natural hair, but that my hair wasn't growing. And I didn't understand why. So like, not only did I want to know what my curls look like, but I also wanted to see like, okay, if natural hair really is the way to go, and all these girls are having beautiful, long, curly, well, not really curly hair. I wasn't really going for that because I didn't know I had curls. But I was like, all these girls are doing these things and like, they have such beautiful, long hair. And they're saying that if you're like rocking your hair as a natural and you're like proud of your natural curls and things like that, you're really caring for your hair, your hair can grow. So I was sold on that. I was like, okay, that's a possibility for me. Like, I do want my hair to grow out. Like, I want to see what my natural hair's potential is. And so, like, I followed along with that. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. This is really cool. Like, I, I want to continue. Um, and so then I had all these hair goals and stuff. And then I tried all these different hair video, like, tips and whatnot. And I was like, yeah, this is it. This is what I want to do. I want to like rock my natural hair. And the one thing that like kept me going, to be honest, was my mom. She was like, oddly enough, she was like, that natural hair thing is not for me. She kept saying that, like that natural hair thing is not for me. Like, I don't know, I can't do that. Back then, my mom was like doing a thing with her like, relaxer and she was doing her little like curl like her short cut with like the flip curls and all these things okay that hairstyle that was like 2016-ish so yeah 2016 was when I decided I was gonna do a big chop um September of 2000 November of 2016 was when I did the big chop so last relaxer was December 2015. My big shop was November uh, 6, 2016. And I just kept going with the journey from then. And when my mom was like, not for me, not for me, not for me, I was like, yeah, I need to convince my mom. Like, she doesn't understand what she's missing. And like when my mom would wash out her relaxer and like decide, okay, I'm not gonna go get a relaxer because this lady basically cut it out my hair. <laughs> like the hairdressers that she kept going to, like her hair just wasn't growing, it wasn't as healthy as it should be. So she was like, maybe this lady is doing something to my hair, I don't know what it is, but my hair is just not growing. I was like, mom, it's a relaxer. It's a relaxer. And I was like, and plus you're not helping because now you're cutting your hair and doing all these short styles. Like, do you want it to grow or not? She's like, that, that natural hair thing, not for me, that natural hair. <laughs> I wish my mom was here so she could tell the story, but um, yeah, that was like her thing. And for some time, and then I just kept going, she was like, oh, you have nice hair. Like, I didn't know your hair had all these curls. I was like, yep, 
I was like, mom, I'm sure you have curls too. Like, I definitely got it from you and dad. So like, I would love, love, love to see your curl. Um, she also had long hair when she was around my age. So I was like, you should definitely do it and try to figure out what your curls were. Um, this is not about my mom becoming natural or anything, it's about me. So anyways, um, I just kept going. Like I kept looking at videos I was like, and I had a friend that was also natural. She would give me natural hair tips. I went to Curl Fest and I met Monique, uh, who is, uh, well, it's funny. She is the owner of My Organics, which is a product that I'm using right now. And she like gave all these awesome tips for like products my friends and I can buy. Um, she twisted my friend's hair like right then and there. Like she's just like, yep, let's try this product on it. Let's see how it works. And she did it. <laughs> and she was so down to earth. I was like, wow, like this is amazing. I love this community of, you know, naturalistas just like loving on their hair and encouraging each other to love on their hair. And it was just an amazing, amazing, amazing feeling. Just knowing that I'm part of this community that celebrates uh, natural beauty. And so I was like, yeah, I, I'm gonna stick with this. Like this is something I want to do. But I still continued to protect the styles because I didn't really know exactly what to do with my natural hair. Like I knew I wanted it to grow out, but like to leave my hair out, like what was a wash and go? Wash and goes weren't a thing. Like I've heard about it, but it wasn't really something that I was doing because I didn't really like how my curls looked. And then I would do twist outs, my twist outs won't last. I would try to do braid outs, my braid outs won't last. So I would just put my hair in cornrows and like put on a wig. Like that was like my thing. Put your hair in cornrows, put on a wig, you're good to go. Like that's it. Make your life easier. Um, so that was like my go to thing. But I didn't realize like that was definitely helping my hair grow so much that like by December of 2017, my hair was so long it was like not bit mid back like it was like bra strap like my hair was so long so we had um a staff party december of 2017 we had a staff holiday party and i was like you know what this holiday party i think i'm gonna straighten my hair because it's the winter time i want to see how long my hair is so like a length check <laughs> and almost one year length check but in my head it was like technically it's my two year length check from when I last had my relaxer so I was like justifying it like yes let me do a length check let me see how long my hair is let me straighten it went to the Dominicans got my little blow out whatever whatever and I was feeling my hair I was like Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh I'm trying not to do too much because product can be flipping everywhere and I would just have to clean everywhere it's too much work but I was really really feeling my hair I was like oh look at all this girl okay girl okay so I was like all right I got some hang time this is awesome I just love the fact that I could like run my fingers through my hair <laughs> like it was amazing like absolutely amazing just seeing the length I was like all of this hair in two years technically right this is my last relaxer all this hair grows in two years like amazement amazing right so after I kept that I think I kept it in for three weeks right the blowout I was just trying to make the most of it I started off wrapping my hair at night so I didn't like stick with it consistently I was just like Man, it was a lot of work. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a lazy natural, so it was a lot of work keeping up with it. So it only lasted maybe two and a half weeks. And then I did like a, um, a nice twist out with it because it was already stretched. And then I finally like washed it out. Washed it out, I was like, oh, my curls are back like they never left. Sis, who lied to you? <laughs> my hair. My curls were so stretched out, you would think I had a texturizer. Like, my curls weren't ringlets anymore. And I was like, oh, it's okay, I just need to keep doing these washes. I need to keep doing some deep conditioning stuff. I need to do the, I think Ite was a thing with the sugar, honey, 
um, re reconstructor or whatever. I tried it all. I even tried Afro G. <laughs> Y'all, I was going through it, okay? Going through it. So when all that stuff happened, I was just like, nah, this can't be possible. It never really happened. So like March was when I was like, okay, my curls are back. They're back. Or so I thought. <sighs> May 2018, so two months later, it was time for my graduation. And my mom was like, she was like, oh, why don't you just straighten your hair and like see how your natural hair would be. She's like, yeah, just straighten your hair, see it, or whatever. So I kept thinking about it, I was like, no, I was gonna do a wig, I was gonna do like a wig or something. I was gonna use my natural hair. But then I thought about it some more, and I'm like, the Dominicans charge me 25 to $30 to do a blow out on my hair. Cause my hair is thick and stuff. So, I'm like, I could do that or I could get a wig for a week. I'm like, which one's cheaper? Girl, do your blowout. Go for the Dominican, go for the Dominican. Yes, my hair was lit, all straight and nice and ooh, just flourishing, right? I was hyped, okay? I was super hyped. Well, little did I know that this other bit of heat that I'm putting in my hair was gonna be the death of my hair. I put in the heat. I think this time I kept it in for like two weeks. Like it didn't last as long. Cause it was the summertime. I was getting like, it was getting hotter and stuff. And yeah, it just didn't last. It was, it was too hot to be like having all this, you know, long hair on your neck. So I think yeah, last two weeks. Summer officially started in June and I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> so then washed out my hair. Kept washing it, kept washing it, kept washing it. My curls would not come back. The ends of my hair were stringy, it was knotted. Yo, my hair was so knotted, I lost so much hair. When I was doing that, I was like, oh no. Afoji, Ite, Reconstructor, Restoration Products, everything that this like promised that it was gonna do good for your hair and bring back your hair's natural curls and all these other lies. Lies. That's what I, I put in my hair. That's what I wanted in my life. That's what I aspired for. I aspired to the restoration and re reconstruction and all this stuff. Just like, yeah, my hair, my hair needs to be restored. Like, it needs to happen. But y'all, it didn't happen. It was 2018. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> This would have been my third year of no like manipulation if I had it, put heat in my hair. And the thing about it, you know what's crazy? The thing about it is I saw the steam from my hair being straight. I saw when she blew out my hair, I felt the heat on my scalp. I knew she was using a lot of heat. The first time, and they had forgotten to take um, heat protectant. The second time I did, but she didn't use it consistently in every part. I had to keep reminding this girl. There's two different people that did my hair, by the way. But yeah, so I didn't have heat protectant in every section. So some parts were more severely heat damaged than others. Needless to say, my hair was, it was pretty bad. I was trying to push it. That's when I had first started q too. Um, in 2018, and I was like, yep, I'm gonna do my natural hair videos so we can see how my hair grew and yada, yada, yada. But people didn't know, cause like, my ends were curling, but people probably thought, that was probably just her hair, her hair texture, or whatever. Cause I was getting curls at the ends, but I was getting like, type three curls. Or even waves, if you want to call it that. So I was like, yeah, no, it's not right here. It's not happening right. So I 
it's like I really don't know what to do, but I'm gonna just let it grow out and then cut it bit by bit by bit by bit. So that was my plan. I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep trimming my hair bit by bit until it gets back to the same length that it's at right now. So I was like, all right, every three months, I'm gonna trim my hair. That was my plan, three month hair trimming plan. I was like, all right, this is working, this is good. Come girls, um, hang out. May 2019, <laughs> we were supposed to do a girls wash day, right? And you're not supposed to use a fingernail, you're supposed to use this, but I, listen, I don't know if it's dry, that's why it's itching, but too bad. It doesn't have anything in it, so it's probably just dry. Anyways, um, so girls wash day. We were all supposed to wash each other's hair, so people were getting their hair dyed, and yada yada, right? So we're all washing each other's hair, whatever. Okay, my turn to wash my hair, see my hair, and all this stuff. And she's like, something doesn't look right. Something doesn't look right. She was like, mm -mm. She's like, no, you need to cut this. She's like, no, like, you have your curls at your roots, but your hair is straight at the ends. Mind you, she's putting water in my hair, my hair is straight. That's a problem, okay? I have naturally kinky, coily hair. There's no reason that you're putting water in my hair and it's straight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.